Hello, Matthew Carr here, and today I'll be picking up a gauntlet that was thrown down by Scott Manley. Or, well, maybe it was a leather glove that fell off a desk. But anyway, I'm picking it up. A few weeks ago, he made a video where he went to Minmus with only three parts, and he pretty much said that you couldn't go to the moon with only three parts. And me, of course, being the way I am, I really wanted to show that this was wrong. So, I decided to try and go to the moon in only three parts. You see here are some of my early attempts. They're not so great. They uh, get to orbit all right, but they only have between about 1,000 and 1,500 delta V left over. And to do a round trip from the moon, you need about 2,500 delta V left over when you're in orbit. This is a bit of a problem. So, after trying these two ideas, I came up with another idea that was a bit crazier. So, I started this. Now, on the pad, this only has about 200 more delta V than the craft Scott Manley used, which is not enough to get to the moon. But I have an idea. If I can stage the top tank once I've emptied it, then I'll easily have enough delta V. Of course, this does lead to a bit of a problem. How am I going to stage the top tank? I'm going to need to knock it off on something. I considered knocking it off on an asteroid, but I figured that using an asteroid would actually count as using a fourth part. Also, trying to line up an asteroid to line up just when I launch would take a lot of time, and I'm lazy. So, I decided instead to just knock it off on the moon itself. I figure I need to be going by it, so how hard could it be to just clip it and knock the tank off without destroying the rest of my craft? So you see here me adjusting my orbit to come really close to the moon, but not quite hit it. Now... I consider myself a pretty good mission planner, and I work things out pretty well, but I'm not a great pilot. Scott Manley, on the other hand, is a pretty fantastic pilot. He accomplished his mission only using one quick load. Now, I'm going to show off exactly how many quick loads I use, just so people who are under the illusion that I'm a good pilot are dispelled of that notion. So, you see me coming in here and I'm making the final adjustments to try to knock the piece off on the moon. And it's going decently well. You can see me just fine-tuning ever so slightly, trying to get it to line up. And then I come swooping in over the moon. Now you may have noticed one of my problems with this mission, which is that my power is actually finite. I actually only have the 50 power that's in the capsule, and I will never get more because the booster does not generate power. This means turning is rather hard. And now, you see my first explosion. I kinda got clipped on the moon. Some of the pieces made it away. Unfortunately, not the ones I needed. So, the quick loads begin. Now, you fast forward doing this, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. And, you notice I also start using multiple named saves because I had to tweak things multiple times to try to get it right. And... There we go. So, the litany of deaths starts beginning now as I go through things. This time I don't actually explode, I just miss the moon entirely. You see me going up here. So, another quick load. And maybe a little too low? Yeah, definitely a little too low. And again, and again. Sometimes I did the adjustments just using the abuse of ladder physics because it was a lot easier than trying to reorient the spacecraft. Even so, it doesn't quite work out. You'll see here that the capsule actually explodes a lot while both ends remain. That's because the capsule is really the weak piece. It's the weak link. And so it gets kind of crushed between them and then both pieces go spinning off. And that time I just kind of clip the ground lightly and nothing gets destroyed, which is not what I wanted. Hmm. This time, two pieces both survive, and they're the pieces I need, but they're not connected, which makes it kind of useless. Now, two explosions for the price of one! <laughs> that one's an interesting explosion, kind of side by side. And this one inside a wall. And this one, I miss one wall, and into the next wall. You are getting the idea, I think. 
I was trying a bunch of different angles, just trying to see what would actually work. You see, I'm actually hitting, like, where I want to hit, and we have a success! A success! It's tumbling a bit, but I'm sure I can work that out. Now, I could fight it with the reaction wheels, but reaction wheels are uh, expensive power-wise, and I don't have very much, so I could just, you know, quick save and reload! Spinning gone! Haha! <laughs> Knocking off the tank actually gets me about 700 extra Delta V, which is enough to put me into the territory where I can land on the moon. Now, I need to land very carefully on the moon and use only the minimum amount of Delta V possible. I try it a bunch of times. This time, I just use up too much Delta V. Also, it may not be my cleanest of landings. All looking good, and then... not quite. Down she goes. That would be a little hard to launch from. So, let's try again. Landing attempt number two. I also use up a little too much Delta V. It's already too much gone at that point, so I just restart. And try again. This time I try to do it a lot more gently. I ease into a circular orbit, and then go all the way around, and then come at the ground at a nice flat trajectory. That's the best trajectory for using the smallest amount of delta V possible. You allow yourself to get really close to the surface while moving almost entirely horizontally, so your counter burn is almost entirely a horizontal burn, so you're not wasting any delta V on vertical. This time, of course, I may have miscalculated where I was landing. Hmm. Try again! This landing attempt goes pretty well, kind of how I want it to go. I just kind of slow down to a stop, and I'm not very high above the ground. I just fall down to the ground very gently, and then I just ease myself onto the ground, using up only a little more Delta V than is absolutely necessary for a perfect suicide burn. Now all that's left is to set it down gently and vertically. Of course, that's not very easy. So I just set it down on its side, because this rocket does not stand on its engines at all because they're parallel to each other and not very big compared to the rocket. But I'll take it. Plant the flag, and I'll just try to take off from the lying down position. How hard can it be? I'll just get up right here, put the throttle on very low, get up to a nice even speed, and then kind of nose up off the ground. I'm sure it'll go perfectly smoothly. See? Perfectly smoothly. And quick load. <laughs> Try again? <laughs> not so much. Maybe this time. Or not. Already, I've got a good feeling about this one. I'll just be very gentle, follow the curve of the terrain, not take off. And there we go! I'm in the air! I'm, of course, not sure what direction I'm going. I'll just kind of spin around here and try to get to 90. And oh god, I've used up way too much Delta V, haven't I? Yep. All my fuel is gone, and nope, I am nowhere near in orbit. Well, let's try again. I figure before any other attempts, I'll just turn around on the ground until I'm facing east. That way I'll be taking off in the proper direction, and we won't have a repeat of what I just did. Of course, that means I need to take off again. That hasn't gone so well. But hey, I've got experience now. I'm sure it'll go... Uh, okay... Maybe we'll get this. I'm sure it's possible to take off from the ground. I've done it once. See? And now I'm doing it again, and why am I spinning up so much? Okay, I gotta remember, just face east. Just east, not up, not for out, not way off to the north. East. That time was terrible. Here we go. Just power up, get off the ground, and that's perfect. Oh god, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Pure east. None of this wibble wobble, none of this pointing up. All my Delta V is going purely into my orbit. That's exactly what I want and what I really need. I don't have a lot of extra Delta V for this, but there we go. That looks like an orbit. I'll just need to go around to the other side of it and even it out. Once I'm circular, though, I'm in orbit. Of course, I only have about 70 meters per second of Delta V left, which is not enough to get home. So I'll just get out and fly home. I'm sure I can figure out a way to land once I get there. How hard can it be? And I figure, since Scott used his Kerbal to go down to Ninmus and come back up again, 
I can just use my Kerbal to go home and it'll be fine, and it's not like he had anything left, and I'll just land on my head, it'll be fine. See? Perfect. You land on your head, and you're perfectly safe. Every time. Ew. Okay. Surviving falling from orbit, but not the little bounce. Okay, I'll just do it again and land on my head. How hard can it be? I did it once. Of course, if I go into the ocean, it doesn't really work. Alrighty, time to get serious. Come in, aerobrick, get into a nice clean orbit, then I'll know exactly where I am. I just can come in and... Oh, that's over the ocean, isn't it? Yep, that that's definitely going to land in the ocean. Uh... Okay, just quick load and try again. This time, of course, when I hit the atmosphere, I kind of roll up into vertical position, which means I'm not going to land on my head, even if I land in the right place. So, try again, and that time I go into the ocean. Okay, try again. I've got a great feeling about this one. This will work. I know it will. And not just because I'm recording this after the fact. That, of course, does make it a lot easier. But, no, the gut feeling was there the first time. I knew it was going to work out. And here we go, coming in, and bounce. Yes, he bounces. Now this time I learned my lesson, don't land on the head a second time, just kind of even out. And there we go. Safe and sound on the ground. Now if I'd cut this whole video together and gotten rid of all of my reloads, I would look like I was amazing. Uh, maybe I should have done that. Well, thanks for watching anyhow. This has been Matthew Carr, signing out. Ooh, just one last thing. See? No cheats. I landed that Kerbal totally fairly, even if it is a little weird. Now I'm really out.